Hey everyone, my name is Will. I'm a developer advocate at Auth0, and this is Auth Answered. Auth Answered is a series where we take your most frequently asked questions and we answer them here for you on video. Today's episode is focused on Auth0, the company. So let's get started. First one, how do you pronounce Auth0? It's not Otho. But yes, the correct way to pronounce Auth0 is Auth0 with the number zero, and it's not Auth0. And it's a whole different thing from OAuth. That's a protocol, and Auth0 is a company. <laughs> Second question. Does Auth0 support pass keys? Yes, pass keys is a new way of logging in um, without using a password, using the credentials that are stored off the device, like on iCloud or the Google Chrome or something like that. And you can use it to log into a website without using a password. So yes, Auth0 does support pass keys. Oh. Next one. Does Auth0 use cookies? Well, the answer to that is, as you know, as a developer, it depends. And that depends on what type of application that you are using. If you're using like a single page application, when you're using Auth0, then it's usually using something that's based upon tokens using JWTs. When you're building an application that uses one of these server side application types and one of our SDKs that works with one of those technologies, you can use it to set sessions and cookies. All right, what does Auth0 do? What Auth0 does is we provide authentication and authorization technologies, SDKs, so you don't have to. Instead of implementing all these things on your own as a developer, yes, you can. I know you love to tinker, but with Auth0, we can do it for you so you can worry about things that you want to worry about, like serving your users or adding new features and things like that. All right, so the next one, is Auth0 free? So while Auth0 isn't completely free, we do offer a generous free tier where you get 25,000 monthly active users. You get unlimited social connections. So if you want to log in with X or LinkedIn or Google and things like that. And we also offer custom domains within our free plan. Oh, wow, aim was terrible. All right, so does Auth0 support SAML? Yes, we do support SAML, and SAML is for being able to log in to one application and log in in other places as well. So you can use Auth0 with different SAML identity providers such as Salesforce. You can use Auth0 as a identity provider themselves when you're making um, your SAML request for your users, or you can use Auth0 as a service provider which will route the request to an identity provider for you. All right, got it, that one was tricky. Does Auth0 support SKIM? SKIM stands for System Domain, System for Cross Domain Identity Management, which is a set of application level security protocols to communicate information across domains. As part of our enterprise program, Auth0 supports inbound SKIM for selected uh, enterprise identity providers. All right, so the next one is, does Auth0 store user data? So yes, Auth0 does store your user data and you can management with, and you can management, and you can management within, wow. And you can manage it within the Auth0 dashboard under user management. It has app metadata, which is information about the user that you don't want them to particularly be able to change. And user metadata is information you can use that the user can edit themselves like a 
favorite color or something along those lines. Now, if you want to keep that data externally, you can use one of our paid plans and have the information on your own database as well. And you're also able to export the user data as well. All right, next question. Does Auth0 use OAuth? As I said earlier, OAuth is a protocol which is more correctly at this time of this recording is OAuth 2.0. Auth0, yes, we use OAuth 2.0 as a authorization framework to grant permission to resources because that's what OAuth 2.0 is used for. It is a authorization protocol. And that's it for this episode of Auth Answer, Auth Zero Edition. If you have any other comments or questions you would like for us to address, please leave a comment down below. Until then, see you next time.